We're here with Phil Schoenfeld. Phil, can you tell me how has Bruce Welly affected your life? Oh, Jesus, Bruce. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Bruce. You know, I'd have committed suicide at 10 years old if I hadn't discovered Bruce Welly. You know, I mean, it was like he wasn't doing this best stuff in the uh, mid 70s and kind of like past his peak by then. But you know, I related to the guy. You know, he gave me some kind of courage to face life. So what can I say, Bruce Welly? What was the importance of Bruce Welly after he stopped roading for Bon Scott and started to play music on his own? Well, what was important was I saw him with a Foster's lager and I said, what the hell is this guy drinking? Is he drinking a can of oil? So I went and I looked, I hunted it down and I said, this is pretty good beer. And it started me on the road to drinking beer and going to concerts, which gladly I stopped doing. I still go to concerts and I just have a glass of water once in a while. <laughs> but that also, then I put down the, the can of beer and I picked up a guitar and I started playing. And since then, I've been playing ever, ever since. So thank you, Bruce. You're a great guy and you inspired me to be who I am today. Well, it was really the thing that got me started playing again. I had played in high school and a little bit in college and I was getting kind of like away from music. But after hearing Bruce, I, I had to come back. I just had to come back again. And then the rest is just history. The rest is just history. We got together. We played in, in the mid '70s again. Joe and now Heath and now Cynthia back in. You it's know. all right. It's all. But without Bruce, I don't know what would have happened. I might have just ended up watching TV every night. I don't know. Yeah, he would have been on the couch. Definitely on the couch. Bruce saved our life. Tell me about the early history of Bruce Welly before he started really playing music on his own. You know, his roadie days. Well, I, I, liked, I grew up with him, you know. I mean, we, both our families actually moved from uh, Glasgow to Adelaide. And uh, if I remember rightly, uh, Bruce was working as a steel worker for a while, a metal smelter, like on Australian railways. You know, that's, uh, actually, it's where we met. Uh, our families, his dad, my dad, they were they were working together on Australian railways. They got us jobs, you know, and like we started off as like metal smelters. Bruce later went on to fame and fortune, and I got stuck here. But you know, the guy's a big influence on my life for sure, for sure. I heard that it's true that. You were influenced by Bruce Welly when you were a teenager oh. from his years in the early, early 70s. Absolutely. 1972, at Nobody's Bar, down in Australia. I was just there, I was a kid, and I heard about this legend. your favorite rock singer of all time? Bruce Welly, I think. It's, it's a hero, simply. Bruce Welly made me aware of music. I mean, he's the first one that, 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 that gave me the true appreciation of what music is all about. Appreciation of kangaroos and wombats. And when I was 15, I decided I want to be a backstage babe with Bruce Welly. Uh, he changed my life, certainly. That led to personal Sorry, I can't tell you details about that. How about you? How has Bruce Welly changed your life? Well, um, I was a year older than my um, colleague here, and we decided about at the same time. <laughs> we actually met him together. We had a terrible argument about him because he liked me more than her. And I just hated it. But after I met Bruce, it, it became completely, well, insane because he just drives me crazy. And I've been insane ever since. Because it's all about sex, baby.
Mike just got off the stage, you know, and Bruce Wally Band, you know, was making a bit of headway in Europe. You know, we've been playing obscurity in the outback of Australia for many years. <laughs> but, you know, we came to Prague, yeah. you know, things kind of took off, you know, like, you know, up to Berlin tomorrow with the Bruce Wally Band. I think it's going to be great. All right, mate. Yeah. Oh my god, I just saw Bruce Welly. It's like the best thing ever. Give it some Welly!